part of the 3.2 notes that is not part of my lecture video online is the domain of special cases. So I wanted to make sure I went over that in a separate video. So domain, remember, those are our x values. What values are we allowed to plug in for x? And what comes up a lot of times is there are certain cases where we have to restrict what we're allowed to plug in for x. Namely, if we have a fraction with a denominator, and another time where we have square roots. So the one thing that I am never allowed to divide by is 0. So no 0 in denominators. So I'm never allowed to divide by 0. Another big rule is I cannot take the square root, no square roots, of negative numbers. So those are the things that we are trying to restrict. Now I know part of 3.2 is learning about different um, notations, but in these kind of examples, especially for the first set of examples, I encourage you to just kind of use words. Think of it from a way, from a perspective where you don't have to worry as much about the notation. So look over here. I have a fraction and I'm only really concerned about making sure I don't plug in something for x in the denominator that would give me a zero. So I can say the domain for this function here is all real numbers except zero. And you can write it just like that. This big R here stands for all real numbers. So feel free to use that notation. Over here, I want to make sure x minus 5 does not equal zero. Well, that happens when x is equal to 5. So in this case, I would say all real numbers except 5. Letter C, this one factors, if I'm, I'm just looking at the denominator, remember I'm not focusing on the numerator, this factors down as x minus 3, x plus 3. So I would say all real numbers except positive and negative 3. Remember, I set each of these equal to 0 and solve to find my solutions. Last but not least, we have x minus 8, x plus 8, if I factor that denominator. So on this example, I would say all real numbers except positive and negative 8. In E through H, I'm focusing on making sure I do not have any negative numbers. And so you can use maybe some inequality signs, mainly greater than or greater than or equal to, in this case, x can be anything as long as it is greater than or equal to 0. In our next case, I really want to make sure that whatever is under the square root is greater than or equal to 0. So maybe I'll set up an equation, an inequality, to solve this. When I solve it, I see that x has to be greater than or equal to 1. x has to be greater than or equal to negative 3. Now in our last example, because the square root is in the denominator, not only do I need x minus 4 to be greater than 0, it cannot be 0. So I cannot say greater than or equal to here. It can only be greater than 4. That was kind of a tricky one. So those are the additional notes that you will need for 3.2 that wasn't in my original lecture video. Thanks!